Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick, or The Notorious Fantasy, and I am back again with Tyler. Everyone else ended up leaving us. It is very sad, but it's okay. We're going to have a great time here talking about the tight ends in free agency. This should be a quicker type of a video because there's about a million wide receivers, quarterbacks, and running backs that are available, but there's about four total tight ends that are available. You can say something, Tyler, now if you want. Yeah, uh, back on. Really excited to be back on. Free agent videos. Please check those out. We put our heart and soul in them, every every bit of it, uh, into those videos. Uh, and we're going to give you a real quick tight end breakdowns. Hopefully uh, some good landing spots for them. Helpful uh, for you guys in fantasy. Okay, now the first guy we're going to be talking about here is tight end Austin Hooper of the Atlanta Falcons. Where do you think he ends up landing, Tyler? Uh, it kills me that the uh, Falcons don't have enough money. I, I just, you know, it's, I struggle to believe that they'll have enough cap. Uh, they're currently sitting here with four uh, million. <laughs> they aren't going to get it done. And ideally that's the spot I want them to go. But looking at a team like uh, maybe the Packers, they're sitting here at about 18 mil. I don't really see them making too many moves. Uh, I think they acquire a good tight end and Austin Hooper goes to Green Bay to die, just like Jimmy Graham. I honestly think the same exact thing happens. I would love to see Hooper back in Atlanta. If they had enough money, he would be great. Just like with Matt Ryan, he's been pretty good the last couple of years. He really broke out last season and played so much better. But in the Packers, like you would think he would do great, but he won't. Aaron Rodgers will just go blind when he sees him wide open. He just won't throw him the ball. So Austin Hooper is definitely going to die in Green Bay. He really stands no chance. They only have one other option to throw the ball to as of right now, unless they sign one of those wide receivers in Devontae Adams. But even with just Adams, he's not going to do shit you're just you're just screwed you, you no, got anything looking else at it, look, looking at it fantasy wise i honestly think the the move will help out both well not really hooper i think hooper will go down from his value this year because he, he just broke out into something this year that was incredible i think it does help out Devonte adams though um you get him another mm-hmm. piece that the defense has to at least you know glare at um i think it helps him out a bit yeah, definitely. I think it could help out Rodgers as well if Rodgers decides to throw him the ball. Obviously, they'll end up being some other tight end that's on the field that ends up scoring a touchdown because that's what was happening all of last season when they weren't running the ball a million times. Some other random guy was catching it besides Jimmy Graham. Now we're going to pivot onto our next guy here, and that is Hunter Henry of the LA Superchargers. Where do you think he ends up when the season or when the free agency starts next week? Yeah, there's some tag rumors out right now. I mean, I don't really see them going past the Chargers. I think their offense is so good. I think they can lock if – they, if they get a young quarterback, if they're just like, screw it, even if they reach just for fun and they, maybe they bring back Rivers for a year just because of that reach, their offense is still so good. I mean, they got a clear, you know, solid running game. Their, their offensive line was horrible this year, but that's mainly because all of them were featured on the injury reserve list. So, you know, they'll come back um, – they got great wide receivers and, and passing threats. So if he goes back there, they're, they're still cooking. Uh, you know, uh, another shout out uh, if he doesn't get the franchise tag. Um, Patriots are an interesting team, but we got another guy coming on later that I think will go there. Yeah, definitely. I think that Hunter Henry, when he is not hurt, he's obviously one of those guys that you worry about getting hurt. But when he's healthy, this dude's a fucking beast with Phillip Rivers. I mean, Phillip Rivers just loves throwing the ball in the end zone to the tight end. So obviously that could be a bit of a mismatch when you bring in a new guy. But new guys, typically these new quarterbacks like to throw the ball to a tight end. When you're younger, you got to realize, hey, shit, this huge white guy that's in the end zone is probably going to be open to catch the ball. So you throw it to him. Hopefully Hunter Henry is able to stay with the Chargers. Like you said, I think it would be interesting if he went to the Patriots but even when they the Patriots seem to be bringing it they brought in like Ben Watson last year everyone was just nutting in their pants thinking oh Ben Watson's gonna be amazing and then Ben Watson was shit but obviously Hunter Henry is far better than him so I think that if he ends up going to the Patriots that could be a good fit but I don't really see too many other teams looking to get a tight end and I don't see the Chargers really wanting to stray away from a guy that could be great for the next Eight years, maybe. I don't know how old he is, but he doesn't seem like he's that old. He's yeah, sitting here at about 25, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't see a reason for him to leave. Uh, unlike our next guy, sitting here with a one-year deal with the Colts, um, didn't really blow up like he did the year previous. Um, Patriots is where I have him going. I, I think that's the kind of guy that they're going to they're gonna want to get. Uh, veteran, but not really. He's, he, I think he's only 26 currently right now. Mm-hmm. Um, they have the room to do it. They got to bring in a tight end. And I think, I think um, an established guy like Eric Ebron, you give Belichick some time to work with him, um, can really be back to the threat that he was a couple years ago. 
Yeah, I think Eric Ebron is a very good, talented guy. Now, obviously, last season he was dealing with Doyle as well, but he really dealt with injury. He didn't play the whole season, I don't believe. He was pretty on and off. Eric Ebron is a very good talent, and if he goes to the Patriots, I think that's a good move for the Patriots, but I don't think that's a good move for fantasy at all. I don't see a reason why you'd be drafting Eric Ebron necessarily. Do you think that maybe you'd like Ebron in fantasy or no? Uh, goodness gracious. I mean, you know, there, there's so many leagues being now created. <laughs> yeah, here, here's my quick outlet as to why he should be. Um, there's so many leagues being created where they're trying to value the tight end position. Um, he, he's, he's probably sitting outside the top 10 if he goes to the Patriots, but not too far outside the top 10. Again, we've seen what he's been able to do. Um, there's no rookies competing with him this upcoming year. Uh, class-wise, there's not really any spectacular guys. I think uh, Hawkinson and Fant will find themselves in the top 10 by the end of this year. But I think you'll be sitting just outside of it. Again, if you have a deep tight end league where you're going two or um, you're, you're giving more points towards them. Tight end premium. He's a valuable pick. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, Obviously, Tom Brady can flirt with the tight end. We've seen it in past years with better talent. I'm not going to say Ebron's going to be matching um, Gronk or Aaron Hernandez, but still some solid, uh, solid pickup by them if they make that move. Yeah, definitely. I think that Belichick will be able to figure it out for him. And now we're going to move on to the final guy of the video. This man is a name that you probably have not heard unless you're addicted to fantasy football or you're playing a 20-team fantasy league, and that is Mr. Blake Jarwin of the Dallas Cowboys. Where do you think Jarwin ends up moving, or do you think he just stays home in the Cowboys like I think so? Yeah, he's just going to stay home. I mean, they're sitting with uh, 73 mil in the bank right now. He's not a guy they're going to have to roll out the, um, you know, the big bucks and the cameras out for. I mean, he's just a guy that'll wrap up, probably sit around at maximum two mil, probably sit around the one mil right now. Yeah, definitely. It seems like they're going to get rid of Jason Witten. So, I mean, obviously that would prove that he could be the starter there. Do you think Witten stays or no? You think Witten's gone? Gosh, how many times does Witten have to leave the Cowboys uh, and go into the booth? Um, I don't think he, he goes another year. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I I still don't really think it affects Jarwin, and it definitely doesn't give him fantasy value to me at all. Yeah, I don't think he has any fantasy value, really. I think he's just an okay tight end that will obviously be in the league, and he'll probably just stay home with the Cowboys. I don't think – I said this before. I don't think many teams really need a tight end or are looking at a tight end, and you're not going to be looking at Blake Jarwin to be your big splash guy, like a guy like Hooper or Henry or Ebron. So you got anything else to say, or is the video over here? Oh, I'm good. Um, Great tight end free agencies. There's only three of them. I still think these guys are really talented. I, I just think, unfortunately, there's not a lot of teams looking for them. But uh, in their in their positive favor, there's some really good teams looking for a good tight end. Um, Packers, Patriots, Chargers, I think all three of those spots are really, really solid spots for, for tight ends. Um, so I think these guys, even with it being a thin class and not many teams looking for a tight end, uh, they're going to go to a good spot wherever they go. Yeah, definitely. I think that these guys could end up having some value for real life and for fantasy, some of these guys. But thank you guys all for watching this video. Tyler, you can shout anything out now. Uh, Zucchini. Shout out to Zucchini. Thank you guys all for watching this video. It was probably like five minutes long, but that's okay oh, because yeah. the tight end free agency is a bit – it's fun, but it's, it's nothing to write home about. So thank you guys all for watching. Click on that subscribe button down below. Click on one of the other videos on the screen. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye. See you guys.